Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Blue Lucas Shows, Dust Lay Source, Peasants, Passes, Meat Tax. I'm a useful idiot, and uh, today the information I'm going to provide is uh, very illuminating as far as figuring out why we have a system that's been completely financialized, why we have a system that's riddled with corruption and fraud, and why we have a system of crony capitalism. And uh, that is because since World War II, the trend has been for the ownership of U.S. stocks by financial institutions, which has changed from 8% to 70%. And this uh, trend is, is uh, reflected globally as well. So let that sink in a little bit. Since World War II, financial institutions have leapt from an 8% ownership of all stocks to 70%. So no wonder there is an interest in continuing to pump up the stock market and keep these uh, insolvent banks afloat. So U.S. financial institutions, mutual funds, pension funds, endowment funds, and bank trustees hold more than two-thirds of the shares of virtually every publicly held U.S. corporation, and this gives them total voting control as well. So the banks own all of the corporations, and they have all the voting rights. And uh, the ownership is concentrated among a few giant money managers. And uh, so we have a kind of inverted pyramid where the great wealth is concentrated at the top among fewer and fewer people, just like all the other wealth in the world. So of the $9 trillion of stock held by the 300 largest U.S. money managers, some $6 trillion of that are held by the 25 largest managers. And then the five largest firms alone which include Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street, Global, Fidelity, and American Funds, hold almost $3 trillion of that, or fully a third of the total. So a third of the total of all these stocks are owned by the five top money management conglomerates. And, um, of course, one of the other pitfalls of this system is it focuses on executive compensation, shareholder returns, and stock price, rather than actual corporate performance or intrinsic corporate value. And that's part of the way that it rots the American financial system. There's a cancer in there because everything focuses on huge bonuses and extracting wealth from the company and artificially pumping up the stock price. And we are left out with these hollow, uh, empty corporate corporations that have little actual value and little actual assets. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we have insolvent banks with huge bonuses, lots of shareholder returns, higher stock prices, and all these uh, uh, smoke and mirrors profits and, and record profits. And, of course, uh, those profits get balanced out by huge losses and a lot of unrecognized losses that are to come. So anyway, I just thought I'd bring that information to people's attention because it, it's a pretty important trend. So from... World War II on, financial institutions have moved from an 8% share of the stock market to a 70% share. They control the entire market. It's completely rigged and gamed in their favor because they own it. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.